Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Gambulkar. In this video, we will see how to pass parameters to base class constructor from the derived class constructor. Now see, here I have opened Visual Studio code and here I have written some code. Now what is there, we will see. Here we have class A, this is class A and in this class we have two constructors. See, this is default constructor and this is parameterized constructor. Now see. We have another class B. Here you can see. And in this class B, again we have two constructors. This is default constructor and this is parameterized constructor. And in this class B, we are inheriting class A. Right? Now see. In main function, we are creating object of B. As we are creating object of B, so no doubt this constructor will get called. And this is default constructor. Right? Here we are not passing any value. Right? So default constructor will get called. Now see, we will run our code, let us see. So, we will compile this first. Okay, so got compiled, no error. Now, we will run our code. So, see, we got this output in A class constructor and in B class constructor. Now, see, here we have not called B A class constructor, right? Because see, we are creating object of B only. We are not creating object of class A, but still we got output in A class constructor first and after that we got output in B class constructor. Reason is, see when we are creating object, so see here this default constructor is getting called and before that as we are inheriting A into B, A class constructor is getting called and that's why we got this result A class constructor and after that we got result in B class constructor. Now see. Suppose if I pass value here, suppose here I am putting 5, right? Now see, so what should happen? There are two constructors in class B, default constructor and this parameterized constructor. So see, when we are passing value 5, so this constructor will get called, right? Now see, here in class A, there are two constructors. One is default constructor and another is parameterized constructor. Let us see which constructor will get called when we are passing value 5. Let us see. So, we will compile it. Now, see, we will run it. So, see, here in B class constructor with value 5. So, we got result from this constructor. And before that, we got this result in A class constructor. This is default constructor of class A. Right? This is default constructor of class A. Right? But see, now suppose we do not want this constructor. We want result from this constructor only but this constructor will get called only when it will get some parameter it will get some value right so to run this constructor what we have to do from this constructor we have to pass value to a class constructor parent class constructor now how to pass c what is the syntax for this c colon now see we want to pass value to a class constructor so in the round bracket we have to mention suppose i want to pass value y only okay so see here, when we are creating object, so 5 will get passed, that 5 will get assigned to this y variable and this y, this y value will get passed to the A class constructor. Now see, we will run our code, let us see. So, got compiled. Now see, in A class constructor with value 5 and in B class constructor with value 5, right? So, here we have passed value to A class constructor. How we have passed? See. From B class constructor, we are passing this value to A class constructor like this. So, this 5, that y value, that is 5 only, will get assigned to x and here this constructor is getting run. Right? Now, see, I do not want to send y. Suppose I want to send 5, 3 or something like this. Okay, let us see. So, again, we will compile it and we will run it. So, see. In A class constructor value 3 and in B class constructor value 5. Right. Now see, suppose uh, we are not passing value, right? So as we are not passing value, so by default, default constructor will get run, right? This default constructor will get called. Now see from this default constructor, I want to send value to the constructor of A class, parent class. So how I can send? Same thing, right? Suppose I want to send value to A class constructor and suppose I want to send 7, right? Now see will run our code. 
will clear screen got compiled no error now see so see when we are running code on this visual studio code so a and press tab so that you will get this thing right and then press enter so see we got in a class constructor with value 7 and then in b class constructor so this is default constructor of class b why default constructor because we are not passing any parameter that is a default constructor and from the b class default constructor we are passing value to a class constructor see here you can see by this syntax we are passing value to the a class constructor that is 7 we are passing right so here this parameterized constructor parameterized constructor is getting value from the b class constructor if you remove this if you re remove this so a class default constructor will get run right so like way by this method we can pass parameters to the parent class constructor in c++ programming language so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you